Sean Frankie with Wings and Wheels. Speed to Fly is a factor used by glider pilots to maximize cross-country speed in both sink and lift conditions. Garrett Willett is a national champion and U.S. team member. Garrett, in this video, outlines different speed to fly theories. So when we're talking about speed to fly, there's many different rules of thumb and, and thought processes on this. John Cochran has um, some really good articles that he has printed that we have some links to on our site. And there's definitely no fault in his math. His, uh, statistically speaking, he's gone through the flights and he's you know looked at the days and looking at the weather forecasts. And it's a, it's a really good basis to use. Another thought is flying a McCready setting of two versus uh, flying a full McCready setting. Let's say the day is actually ending up being around three or three and a half knot thermals all day. And, and flying a McCready of two, flying a little bit slower, gives you a little bit longer of a glide. And it might give you that ability to, to find that unusually strong thermal. It seems to be a lot of times the winners will have that unusually strong thermal and that's what gets them the, the faster average speed. So flying a little bit slower may, may extend those glides a little bit and may give you that option. But another important thing is what is the gaggle doing? Uh, you know, a lot of times the gaggle you get a couple people together and, and um, they're going to be having a much faster cruise speed because you can spread out and you can search for thermals a little faster. And then what speed are they flying? They might be flying a little bit slower, and so you might end up flying a little bit slower than you were originally intending just so you can keep up with the gaggle. Or the gaggle might be flying a lot faster than you were intending. Um, I noticed that real quick in Finland is the gaggle a lot of times flew much more of a McCready setting, whereas I'd fly a little bit slower. Um, and there's no way to be able to, to keep up with them as, as they're going that much faster. And then they are getting those strong climbs. But along with that gaggle, and let's say they're not flying as fast as you want. And, and so do you want to lead? Do you want to be leading out in front of them, flying faster? Um, and potentially just marking thermals for them? Or maybe if you fly fast enough, you, you might be able to pull away from them. Um, is it time to lead? There are times when, when you get on top and and looking at the sky ahead and you just need to keep pushing on and charging off. Um, and there's other times when it's better just to stick with the gaggle and, you know, and, and sit on top. And then if you can sit with that gaggle and, and, and be on top and then, you know, be the first one through the finish line, you, of course, win, win the day. And then along with speed to fly, how does it look ahead? Does it look good up ahead? Or is it looking like it's it's getting worse up ahead? And so that's gonna have a lot to do with your you know speed to fly and gear gear changing. I noticed that's one of the things I've always been working on um, is is shifting gears, knowing when to slow down and knowing when to go a lot faster. And when we're looking at when to leave a thermal. You, know, you cannot look at the best thermal. You can't look at, okay, I'm taking, you know, the, the unusually strong thermal is a, you know, five knots, um, but I've been taking threes all day. You know, and that five drops to four, I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave once it's dropped down to kind of my, my lower part of my average of what I've been taking for the day, not just uh, that strong thermal for the day. So you have to look at what have you been, you know, averaging for the day. And once it drops down to that, then then move on. Um, and I leave the thermal when when I think I can beat it up ahead. So not only does it just drop down to that average and you know, below that average that I've been taking, um, is can I get a better one up ahead? Maybe the sky doesn't look as good ahead, so I'm going to stay with this thermal for a while. Um, if I'm only going to match this thermal, if I look up ahead and go, okay, I can glide, you know, not terribly far, and, and it looks promising, looks the same that it does here, and I think I'm just going to end up matching again, and then I might take this one and just take it higher, a little higher above the ground, and, you know, reduce those odds of landing out type of thing. Um, 